ever faithful father you said you won't leave us oh god and that's what you said oh god that's our stronghold oh god that's what we are holding on to father father lord we worship you oh god we depend on you our father and our trust oh god our hope is in you father let us not be put to shame oh god do not let our enemies triumph over us oh lord my god for our hope and trust oh god is in you oh lord Father, glorify yourself, O God, in our midst. Glorify yourself in our lives. Glorify yourself, O God, in, in this place, O God, tonight. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We have come to meet with you, O God. We have come to encounter you. We have come to be transformed. We have come to be changed. We have come to be lifted, O God. In your presence, the Bible says, O God, that times of refreshing shall come from your presence. And as many as appear in before you, O God, they grow from strength to strength. Father Lord, may you take us from strength to strength, from one level of glory unto the other, O God. And let your name be glorified in our lives. Let your name be glorified in our midst, O God. In the name of Jesus, we commit, O God, this service into your hands. We commit all the ministers, Father Lord, tonight into your hands. We commit, Father Lord, whatever is going to be done, O God, in this place, O God, into your hands. Come and take your place, O God. Have your way, O God. For this is not our service. This is your service. Oh God, this is not our house. This is your house, oh God. Reveal yourself, oh God, in this place, oh God. Throw your weight, oh God, in this place, oh Lord, my God, and let you may you glory, Father Lord, be seen, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we consecrate it, oh God, for your glory, oh Lord, my God, in Jesus' mighty name, and we activate, oh God, the ministry of the angels that you have ordained, Father, to serve us. For you say in your word that they are ministering spirits unto us and they excel in strength, Father Lord. We activate their ministry tonight in our lives, in our families, oh God, in this service, oh God, tonight in Jesus' mighty name. And Father Lord, whatever is going to be done, let it bring glory unto your name, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, when all is done, we shall give you all the praise and all the glory in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are most welcome in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's such a great honor and a great uh, privilege and a uh, humbling experience being in the presence of the Lord. David say that uh, blessed is the man that you bring closer unto you. Praise the Lord. Meaning that uh, we coming into the presence of the Lord it is a blessing hallelujah it is a blessing on its own and we don't take it for granted praise the lord we'll have to start off by honoring and celebrating our dear mother prophetess manuel agnes of Vaco, the vision bear rather angel of this house praise the lord we thank god for the sacrifice that she has dearly paid for this ministry and to ensure that we gather in such a place hallelujah we also bless God for the grace of God upon the assistant pastors, Pastor Robert Wamala and Pastor Helen Akio. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we honor and celebrate the Lord for Pastor Sarah and uh, Pastor, Pastor Sarah, Pastor Joan, Pastor Grace and Pologoma. Praise the Lord. Uh, Pastor Martin, Pastor Brian. Praise the Lord. We thank God for Minister Jacobs. We thank God for Evangelist uh, Odi. Hallelujah. We thank God for Minister Jade and all the other ministers in your various capacities. We thank God for the grace upon your life and the ministry upon your shoulders. Praise the Lord. And uh, we also honor and celebrate the grace of God upon our spiritual posterity in our prophetess Miriam Obina and Bishop Paul Chukwemo. Hallelujah. We thank God for their covering. We thank God for their mentorship, their prayers. Hallelujah. And it's because of them that uh, we are, our destinies are secured. Praise the Lord. We don't take their lives, we don't take their ministry and their impact in our lives for granted. Hallelujah. And above all, we honor and celebrate the Spirit of the Lord, who is uh, the author and the finisher, who is the enabler of every activity taking place in this place. Praise the Lord. And to him be all the praise, and to him be all the glory and the honor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, once again, you're most welcome. I would love to welcome all of you that are on ground and those that are online. Uh, you're most welcome for tonight's service. I believe our lives are not going to remain the same. Praise the Lord. We came to meet God. We came to encounter his presence. Hallelujah. And uh, there is nothing that comes into his presence and remains the same. Praise the Lord. The Bible says it was one night that uh, the road of Aaron was taken in the presence of the Lord. A road that was lifeless. A road that has, had no hope. Praise the Lord. It was dry, but one night was enough for it to start budding and give, bringing forth fruits. Praise the Lord. 
So I can assure you that uh, you're not here by mistake. You're not here to waste time. Praise the Lord. You're here to be transformed. You're here to be changed. Hallelujah. Uh, I request for those that are behind uh, to come and kindly take off, take up the front seats as uh, we start this evening. Hallelujah. And I also request you to have your wonderful seats briefly. We share and then uh, pray. Praise the Lord. It is a night of prayer. It is a night to encounter God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Once again, I'm really honored and uh, I don't take this opportunity standing before you for granted. And uh, I appreciate my dear mother, Prophetess Emmanuel Agnes Favako, for entrusting me with this uh, pulpit. Hallelujah. And uh, this uh, honorable platform. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We started off on Tuesday with uh, a theme. Actually, the theme of this week is uh, Plead My Cause. It is a prayer point. Praise the Lord. It is a prayer point, and uh, the, the theme is uh, Plead My Cause, O Lord. This was the psalmist that was making this uh, prayer. Praise the Lord. And uh, right from Tuesday, a lot has been, a lot of information has been dispensed. And uh, I believe that we have been impacted. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to speak much because uh, we need to pray. And open up this night. Praise the Lord. And uh, prepare our spirits and minds, our souls and uh, whatever. For what God is about to do in our midst. Praise the Lord. So this evening I've come uh, with a title. With a... I want to talk briefly about uh, uh, silencing the accuser. Silencing the accuser, praise the Lord. Because uh, yesterday I remember talking about uh, uh, divine vengeance. And uh, we talked about uh, books that are in heaven, praise the Lord. Because the Bible tells us in the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 10 that uh, there are books in heaven. Like it or not, there are books in heaven. Praise the Lord. And uh, the Bible also tells us in the book of uh, Psalms chapter 139 and that, uh, that uh, each and every one of us has a book written of him. Praise the Lord. Each and every one of us has a book written of him. And so before God formed you, before God uh, created you and uh, he, 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 he sent you on earth, there was a book that was written about you. Praise the Lord. I remember we were talking about, uh, we were looking at uh, the book of uh, uh, Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. That tells us that uh, for of whom he foreknew, he predestined. Praise the Lord. And for those that he predestined, he, he called. Praise the Lord. And for those that he called, he did what? Praise the Lord. For those that he called, he, 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 he justified. And for those that he justified, he did what? He glorified. Praise the Lord. So we see that uh, there was a certain arrangement that was made in heaven. And then the council of heaven sat down and then formulated a certain book concerning a particular individual. Praise the Lord. And then that individual was sent on earth. And uh, whatever this person here, right from uh, where you are born, right from uh, where you grew up from, praise the Lord, right uh, unto, unto, unto your, 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 your mature age, you get married, praise the Lord. You get married under your assignment, your calling. It was already predestined, praise the Lord. Because when the council sat, the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 26, the Bible says that uh, and the, the council of God, which is the Godhead, sat down and he said that, uh, let's make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then uh, when the council sat and agreed upon that particular issue, praise the Lord. For instance, uh, I used just an example of Jacob's. Today let me use joy. Praise the Lord. Since you've just come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So that uh, you get to understand it properly. Hallelujah. And so heaven sat down and then uh, they did what? They thought about joy. Let's make joy. Praise the Lord. Let's make joy and we are going to make her of what? What? Rest is she going to be? Praise the Lord. Where is she going to grow up from? Who are supposed to be her parents? Who are the people going to nurture her? Praise the Lord. Where is she going to sleep? Where is she going to go to school from? Praise the Lord. All these arrangements here were... The Bible says that for them that he foreknew. So that is the foreknowing process. 
and then they write down a book every detail concerning your life praise the lord your color your height your size your stature praise the lord where you are going to do what where you're going to grow up from that is the what the predestination now praise the lord it is written in a book praise the lord and so you come on earth and then uh, all of a sudden you start discovering that uh, you are attracted to certain things praise the lord you find yourself uh, being drawn being inclined to a certain kind of uh, uh, lifestyle hallelujah or oh, but as long as it is godly then that is your calling because i can't say that uh, a thief that is his calling no that is just being uh, thwarted by the enemy praise the lord but if you find yourself uh, being drawn to certain things let's say for example you're drawn to church praise the lord uh, and then all of a sudden you find yourself uh, being drawn maybe to, to, to sharing the word of God. You're so much into the word of God. Now that is the being called part. Praise the Lord. For them that he won you, praise the Lord, he, he, he predestined. And them that he predestined, he did what? He called. Praise the Lord. And after being called, then uh, there is that justification process whereby you feel like uh, your life where you are, Praise the Lord. Where you are, you feel like there is more to it. There is something that you must be in that particular time. Praise the Lord. But uh, for, for some reason, you are not walking into that thing that you feel like. For instance, you feel like I should be married right now. But again, you're not married. Praise the Lord. You feel like I should be rich. I shouldn't be poor. Praise the Lord that is your spirit man uh, uh, giving witness praise the lord that uh, indeed there is something that is written about your book in heaven but there is an accuser who's standing against you praise the lord there is an accuser who's standing against you but the bible says that jesus justified us when he paid the price on the cross of calvary praise the lord hallelujah and so once you have uh, dealt with the what with the with the, with the justification process and now your case has been solved has been sorted in the realm of the spirit then that's when you are glorified that's when you start walking you see your life being changed you see yourself bringing impact in lives that is now when you are glorified but the glorification comes after the justification is sorted out praise the lord Remember this week here we are dealing with a prayer point and it says that plead my cause, O Lord. Hallelujah. And so there is a curse in heaven. Praise the Lord. There is a curse in heaven and a Satan, the Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. He is consistently day and night accusing the brethren. Like it or not, whether you have done wrong or not, Satan is looking for something to accuse you of. Hallelujah remember the book of job the bible talks about job and the lord asked satan that where have you been he says i've been moving to and fro praise the lord i've been moving to and fro and uh, i don't know when when was that that uh, i i explained one of those weeks praise the lord i explained and said that uh, that kind of movement it is not just a linear kind of movement praise the lord he's not moving that okay is from uh, kampala and then heading to koboko no he has the ability of uh, traveling to Koboko or even moving from Kampala, he goes to Jinja. And when he's not satisfied, he will come back and then maybe go to Masaka. Praise the Lord. And that movement, it is not just to do what? To, 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 to tour, no. He is looking for evidence. Praise the Lord. He is looking for evidence. He's looking for something to accuse. When he looked at the life of Job and found nothing to accuse him of, he goes before God and then he lays a claim and says that do you think Job is serving you for no good reason? Do you think Job obeys you for no good reason? Isn't it that you've put a hedge around him? Praise the Lord. So you see that uh, Satan will accuse you for everything. Even the most, even your most what? Uh, what you call righteousness. That righteous act that you are doing, Satan is going to bring an accusation against it. He will say, that, "Do you think this person here is just this person is just serving you for no good reason? Isn't it that you're blessing him? First, take away the blessing and see if he will stand and serve you." Praise the Lord. So Satan is always laying accusations. Hallelujah. He's always laying accusations. Yesterday I told us that in heaven there are books. 
the Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 10 that and books were opened praise the Lord books are being opened every day in heaven in the courtroom of heaven praise the Lord and in those books I remember saying that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, the, the evidences the accusations the the praise the Lord because uh, if you look at a court session they, these people here bring books, hallelujah. And they bring evidences, they say, according to Article so, so and so, praise the Lord, this person has to be defended. According to Article so, so and so, this person here is guilty, praise the Lord. And so, when God is bringing books, even Satan is bringing records, praise the Lord, he's bringing records, hallelujah. And uh, if you are going to tackle life from the basis of, uh, because, uh, when was it? I was saying that uh, most of the reason as to why we do what? Most of the reason as to why we engage in prayer and we just only got to get frustrated is that we are tackling prayer from the standpoint of uh, just uh, like uh, from, uh, from a perspective of a uh, battle. And this is what we have been trained. Praise the Lord. This is what we have been told. Like prayer is warfare. And that's what scripture says. Praise the Lord. That's what scripture says. That we will wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers. Hallelujah. But again, when Jesus Christ was talking about prayer, he, I remember yesterday describing this. I said that, uh, uh, explaining this. I said that, uh, that uh, when Jesus Christ was explaining prayer, what happens in the courtroom, praise the Lord, he presented to it to us as a courtroom session in Luke chapter 18 from verse 1. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 18 from verse 1, that story of the widow who came to this unjust judge. Hallelujah. So most of the times we tackle it from the standpoint of warfare. And what happens is that uh, the very thing that you have hit, the very thing that you have dealt with, at some point it will show up. Why? Because it wasn't settled in the heavens. Until when uh, legal things have been sorted out, that case is not concluded. Praise the Lord. For instance, you can, uh, you, can, uh, you can chase someone out of your land. But as long as you do not have the legal rights over that land there, that case will come back. Not until when court either dismisses it, praise the Lord, or they solve it once and for all, praise the Lord. Thank God that this week here, uh, I mean, uh, uh, by, by, by the spirit of the Lord, uh, the Lord spoke unto our the, the, the senior prophet, Mama Prophetess Miriam Obina, and said that whatever we are dealing with right now, we are dealing it with, we are dealing with it once and for all. It is not coming back. Praise the Lord. And so, if it is not supposed to come back, then matters have to be sorted in heaven. Praise the Lord. Matters have to be sorted in heaven, and 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 whatever evidence the enemy has against us. It has to be cleared. Praise the Lord. Otherwise, we shall send fire today. We shall hit the, 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 the branches. And yet the thing still has roots. Satan still has evidence against us. Praise the Lord. He still has evidence. He still has records against us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible calls him the accuser of brethren. Praise the Lord. He is the accuser of brethren. And uh, being an accuser of the brethren, then he is going to resist whatever tries to come into your life. He's going to resist every prophecy. He's going to resist every promise of God concerning your life. Like it or not. Praise the Lord. Like it or not. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 and verse 14, that and the word became flesh and we beheld the, his glory. Praise the Lord. And the world became flesh and he dwelt among us and we beheld his glory and you see that uh, the word who's jesus christ because jesus christ came to represent that which was already written in the realm of the spirit hallelujah he came to reveal to manifest that which was written in the realm of the spirit this all, all of us here have something written about us you have prophecies praise the lord you have prophecies and uh, maybe prophetess gave a prophecy and said that uh, this year here you're supposed to be wealthy this year here you're supposed to be this praise the lord this year here you're supposed to be traveling this year here you're supposed to be receiving this but the word hasn't become flesh why because there is an accuser praise the lord there is an accuser who is fighting that word you see that when jesus christ before he manifested praise the lord 
before even uh, before actually when he manifested we see that uh, satan tried to hinder him why he was resisting praise the lord he was resisting the word from manifesting satan is always going to bring up evidence if at all you manifest then he is going to look for ways of pulling you down but as long as it is sorted in the realm of the spirit praise the lord once and for all as long as you have uh, legal rights to have whatever you have praise the lord then you have overpowered him once the court ruling once the verdict has already been passed then there is no any reason why you should be shouting again with the enemy you see like i said yesterday if you look at the story of uh, that widow there in the book of luke chapter 18 and verse 1 to 8 praise the lord we never see we never see that uh, the widow went to her adversary no she ran to the judge and once the matter was solved by the judge then there was no need again to fight praise the lord there was no need she was vindicated she was avenged praise the lord the lord avenged for howard uh, against uh, avenged her against her adversary praise the lord so once matters are solved in the realm of the spirit then there is no need to make noise again with uh, these particular things here praise the lord with whatever the enemy is trying to bring up hallelujah and so that's why this week here we need the lord to arise on our behalf praise the lord and plead our case hallelujah and he pleads our case because on our own let me tell you my pr our prayers cannot win us any battle praise the lord our prayers cannot help us even our own righteousness the bible says it is as filthy as rugs in the presence of the lord so what will make you praise the lord what will make you walk into that which is written of you it is when there is someone pleading for you praise the lord and that person says that no by the reason of this this person was justified and so this person let this person be glorified praise the lord hallelujah not until when the when the when the advocate the bible calls jesus the advocate in first john chapter 2 and verse 2 praise the lord the bible says that uh, but if we sin we have an advocate not until when the lawyer because if you have murdered if you are guilty and then you go to court and start defending yourself praise the lord against someone who has evidence and then you say no i'm, I'm innocent you need a lawyer praise the lord you need a lawyer otherwise your own righteousness cannot defend you they bring proof praise the lord they bring proof and then you say that i'm innocent who is going to help you that's why you see that even these people that do not have lawyers government gives them because every one of us needs a lawyer praise the lord and this week we are glad that jesus christ is on our side and so we are going to cry unto him praise the lord we are going to cry unto him and ask him to plead our cause because uh, as papa has always put it and he has said that as spirit beings are legalistic in nature they do not interfere in any affairs unless there's someone that has given them legal rights that unless someone has given them authority unless someone has authorized them both god and even the devil praise the lord and so even the devil himself to start accusing you he does not come as a fool praise the lord he is not a fool he knows what he's doing praise the lord he knows what he's doing and he comes with evidence i mean why, why, why would you stand before god the maker of the heavens and the earth and start making noise when you don't have something to do what to, to to when you don't have proof praise the lord he comes with books he comes with evidence and says and this person here you say that uh, those who do not serve you those who do not fear you from generations from third to fourth generations uh you, you you your anger will be against them so how comes this person here and yet his father was just a witch recently praise the lord hallelujah evidence how comes you want to bless this person here and yet just look at this person's record praise the lord so it is upon us to authorize god it is upon us to authorize god to come and work praise the lord in our lives the bible says in the book of matthew matthew chapter 16 matthew chapter 16 and verse 18 it says that and you are peter and upon you will i build 
my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee and he says I've given you authority and whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven praise the Lord and do you realize that uh, these are these are legal terminologies binding and losing praise the Lord binding and losing I was uh, of late I've started because uh, according to what Odi has been going through with uh, court issues and stuff so I started reading law books praise the Lord I started uh, equipping myself because uh, life is uh, unpredictable hallelujah uh, sometime you may land into issues and then you you are totally blank so it is important that I uh, expand our brains praise the Lord and so I started discovering that uh, do you know that uh, this uh, you are actually according to the book praise the Lord that uh, you are bound to a contract praise the Lord there is a contract that binds you and then I discover that uh, losing what the Bible calls uh, losing is that uh, like uh, you are dissolving a certain contract praise the Lord and so if he says that and whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven meaning that uh, if you are binding yourself to a demonic contract then Satan has authority over you praise the Lord and what if you are losing then you are dissolving whatever the enemy has whatever contract the enemy has against you praise the Lord and once you have solved that you have uh, you bind yourself unto God and then dissolve every demonic contract around you then you can give God legal rights you can authorize God now to come into your affairs praise the Lord and by that you are silencing even the voice of the accuser himself because if at all you have a contract with him he says that no, no this generation here they handed these people over to me for five generations so I don't see where this one is going why is he so proud let him submit under me praise the Lord and so you are bound to that demonic contract praise the Lord so this evening in the interest of time this evening we are going to deal with every silencing every evidence praise the Lord every evidence the enemy has against us hallelujah because we are asking God to plead we're asking Jesus to plead our cause praise the Lord we are asking Jesus to plead our cause and thanks be to God Hebrews is it Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 24 that says unto Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and unto the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things better than the blood of Abel better than that covenant praise the Lord better than every covenant that the enemy is using as evidence that the enemy is using as a, as a, as a, as a witness against us the blood of Jesus speaks against it praise the Lord and we are going to silence every voice of the accuser hallelujah and also claim our justification rights praise the Lord our justification privileges because if you are justified because look at this the Bible says of whom he foreknew yes he foreknew us he predestined us and he drew a certain map for us and then you come into the world then you are you are you are you come into uh, onto earth and then you you start doing what struggling with life yes you are working in your calling but just because there is a justification process satan is having something against you he's standing against you in the courts of heaven praise the lord he's standing against you in the courts of heaven and saying this one here like zachariah praise the lord zachariah i mean uh, joshua the high priest in zachariah chapter 3 the bible says he stood before the lord a time of being glorified and then satan says that uh, but this guy here praise the lord this man here i have something against him praise the lord you're consistently in the presence of the lord crying out to god day and night and yet this person this personality is saying uh, uh, but this one here praise the lord so we are going to cry unto the lord and whatever evidence the Bible says in uh, Second Chronicles, 
I mean in Chronicles, Colossians, sorry. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14, that the blood blots out every handwriting of ordinance which is against us and he has nailed it on the cross. Praise the Lord. He has nailed every handwriting, every evidence. Praise the Lord. He fulfilled all our what? All, all the requirements of our what? Of our, of, of our redemption. And so there is no reason as to why. And if you do not understand this, then he's going to toil around with you. Praise the Lord. But we have the knowledge that Jesus Christ justified us on the cross. Praise the Lord. And uh, just because court has uh, done what? Uh, the court has, uh, uh, has, uh, has uh, given the verdict does not mean that the case, no, it has to be reinforced. Praise the Lord. We do not just end on saying that, I know he justified us. You enforce it. Praise the Lord. You reinforce it and show the enemy that you know your rights. Praise the Lord. So let's rise up on our feet and uh, for these remaining few minutes. Lift your hands and start worshipping him. Glorify his holy name. Lift your voice and bless his name. Lift your voice and worship him this evening. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor, O oh God. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the glory, Lord. We worship you, the Lord, our justifier. We worship you, the Lord, our righteousness. We worship you, O oh God, the one that died on the cross of Calvary and took away all our sins and paid it all. We worship you, O oh Lord, my God, who paid, O oh God, the price that wouldn't pay, wouldn't have paid, O oh God. We exalt you, mighty God, the one that is seated upon the throne. We lift your name on high, the lamb upon the throne. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the adoration. There is none like you, O Lord. There is none like you. What a loving Father. What an awesome God. What a merciful God. We bless your name this evening, O Lord. We exalt you, Abba Father. Indeed, you are worthy of all the praise, O God. There is nothing that compares to you, O God. You are so loving and kind, O God. You are so gracious, O Lord, my God, that we that sinned against you, we that rebelled against you, Father Lord, you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and to make sure, Lord God, that the the, the, the righteous requirements oh Lord my God of our justification uh, that the requirements oh God of our redemption oh God uh, be paid Father tonight we worship you oh God uh, Lord we come before you Lord with grateful hearts we come before you Lord as we worship you Lord uh, we come before you oh God with grateful hearts oh God uh, because of your mercies because of your loving kindness oh God uh, and to you alone be the praise and to you alone be the honor and to you be all the adoration oh God God, uh, unto you, my God, uh, be all the praise, O oh God, uh, for there is none like you, O oh God, uh, and nothing compares to you, O oh God, uh, the ancient of days, O oh God, uh, and nothing compares to you, O oh God, uh, Alpha Omega, uh, and nothing compares to you, O oh God, uh, the, the mighty and strong one, O oh God, uh, and nothing compares to you, O oh God, uh, the one that has prevailed over principalities, uh, over powers and rulers, O oh God, uh, over dominions, O oh God, uh, and over every power. Oh God, in the heavenly places, Father, we worship and bless your name, O oh God. We say unto you alone be all the honor, and to you alone be all the adoration, O oh God. You have prevailed, O oh Lord, my God, and want they to receive all power and wisdom, and want they to receive all anoint, all the presence of God, all the blessings of God, and want they to receive, O oh Lord, my God, all the adoration, Abba Father. You are worthy, O oh Lord, my God. The Lamb upon the throne, O oh God. The Bible says the elders bow before you, O God. Heaven and earth, O God, adores you, O Lord, my God. Father, the four living creatures, O God, sing of your holiness, O Lord, my God, saying, Holy, holy are you, God, God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, O God. Tonight, O God, we join the hosts of heaven. We join, O God, the living creatures, O God. We join the 24 elders, Abba, Father. We join, O Lord, my God, the angels, O God, to worship you tonight, O God, to adore 
adore you, mighty God, uh, to give you all the praise of oh God. Uh, your throne is from everlasting to everlasting. Uh, you are never changed, oh Lord my God. Uh, you are never defeated, oh Lord my God. Uh, there is no case, oh Lord my God, that you cannot solve. Uh, there is no case, oh Lord, uh, that you cannot overturn, oh God. Uh, you have paid it all, oh God. Uh, tonight, our Father, we come. Uh, we come, oh Lord my God. Uh, in consciousness, oh God, of our redemptive rights. Uh, we come, oh Lord my God. Uh, and we worship you, mighty God. We worship you, King of Glory. We worship you, mighty Ruler. We worship you, El Shaddai. We worship you, Adonai. We worship you, the mighty one. You are worthy, O Lord my God. You are worthy of the praise and the glory. You are worthy of all the honor, O God. Blessed are you, O Lord my God, from eternity to eternity. You never change, O Lord my God. You never fail, Abba Father. You are worthy of a praise, O God. And we thank you for the blood tonight, oh God. We thank you for the blood of remission. We thank you for the blood that speaks a better covenant. We thank you for the blood, oh Lord my God, that washes our sins, oh God. Oh, we thank you for the blood, oh Lord my God, uh, that speaks better things, better than the blood of Abel. Uh, we thank you for the blood that remits for our sins. Uh, the Bible says, Behold the Lamb uh, who was slain to take away all the sins of the world. Uh, tonight, oh God, we come by the blood. Uh, we come because of the perfect sacrifice uh, on the cross of Calvary, oh God. Uh, the Bible says, oh God, in the days of the old, uh, in the Old Testament, oh God, uh, a man offered lambs, oh God, uh, a man offered, oh God, sheep, uh, a men offered, oh God, how pigeons, uh, men offered animals, oh Lord my God, uh, to remit for their sins, oh God, uh, and Father Lord, the Bible tells me, oh God, uh, how much more shall this blood of Jesus, uh, how much more shall the blood of the new covenant uh, uh, cleanse us, oh God, from every dead works, uh, how much more shall the blood of Jesus uh, uh, cleanse us, oh God, from every sin uh, that the enemy can use against us, uh, how much more shall the blood of the new covenant uh, uh, cleanse us, oh God, from every condemnation, uh, from every voice of accusation. How much more shall the blood? Uh, tonight, oh God, we come by the blood. We come by the reason of the blood. We come by the reason of the blood. In your presence, oh Lord, my God, tonight, we come by the reason of the blood. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come by the reason of the blood. The Bible tells me, oh God, in the days of the old, yes, the high priest, oh God, they held back, oh so God, bowels of the blood, and they entered into the into the tabernacle of God uh, to offer sacrifice uh, and bring repentance of God uh, on behalf of their people and you say you oh Lord my God uh, Father my Father you say to oh God uh, at that time oh Lord my God uh, they used to offer sacrifice uh, each and every year of oh God uh, but when the Lord Jesus came uh, he paid it all once and for all uh, uh, there is no more sin oh God uh, the Bible says oh God uh, there is no more paying for sins uh, for you have paid it all uh, tonight we come by the reason of the blood the blood that speaks so good better than the blood of animals better than the blood of birds better than the blood of God of sacrifices so God we come by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus as we bring repentance so God for the Bible says so God there is no forgiveness of sin without the sacrifice of the blood tonight we come by the reason of the blood of Jesus we come by the reason of the blood of Jesus as we bring repentance so God in the mighty name of Jesus we bring repentance oh Lord my God in your presence oh God for you say your oh God that your hand is not short that you cannot help us oh God neither are your ears deaf that you cannot hear us but it is our sins that have separated us from you tonight oh Lord my God we run to you oh we run to you oh God and unveil ourselves oh God we unveil ourselves oh God before you Abba Father we unveil ourselves so God, before you, mighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, O Lord, my God, for the sins that we have committed. O Lord, my God, we acknowledge, O God, that our sins have testified against us. Our sins testify against us. And we cannot stand and justify ourselves. But by the reason of the blood of Jesus, we run to you, O God. By the reason of the blood, we come to you, mighty God. Have mercy upon us, O God. Look upon us 
Sabah, Father, from the eyes of your dear son. Look upon us, Lord my God, from the perspective of the cross. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, look upon us, O God, from the eyes of the cross, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and cleanse us, Lord my God, from every sin and guilt. Cleanse us, Lord my God. Father, we acknowledge, O God, that we are wrong, O God. We acknowledge, Abba, Father, that we are wrong, O God, and there is none, no God, among us who is righteous, O God, for your word tells us, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But you say, your God, that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. On the basis of this, O God, we come to you, O God, for even you say, your God, that we should come to reason together, even though our sins as red as crimson, you promised and said, O God, that you shall cleanse us and make us as white as wool. Tonight, our Father, we come, and we come by the reason of the blood, in the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy upon us, and forgive us for every sin, every sin of omission and commission, the sins that we know of, and those that we do not know of. Father, have mercy, your God, forgive us, O Lord my God, wherever we have fallen short, forgive us, O Lord my God, wherever we have sinned in your face, in your sight, O Lord my God, for every evil we have committed, those we know of, O God, and those we do not know of, Father, we run to you, Abba, Father, we run to you, mighty God, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, cleanse us, O God, from every sin and guilt, cleanse us, O Lord my God, from every unrighteousness, cleanse us, O Lord my God, from every sin, O God, that the enemy is using to accuse us. Father, cleanse us, O Lord, my God. Wash us, O God, from every filthiness, O God. Wash us, O God, from every sin, O God. Every sin of omission and commission. Every sin of pride and disobedience. Every sin, O Lord, my God, of lust, O God. Every sin of the bloodline, O Lord, my God. We ask you, Father, to cleanse us, O God. We ask you, Father, to wash us, O God. And make us as white as wool. And make us as white as wool, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we stand before you, Lord. Like Joshua the high priest. We stand before you, Lord. Like Isaiah and Isaiah chapter 6. Tonight, O God, we stand before you. And we plead for mercy, O God. Look upon us, O God, with your mercy. For you delight in mercy over judgment. Tonight, oh Lord my God, by the reason of the blood, by the reason of the blood, wash us, oh God, from every sin, wash us, oh God, from every guilt. Take away, oh Lord my God, every sin of the bloodline, oh God. Take away, oh Lord my God, every sin, oh God, that we have committed in your sight. Tonight, we run to you, oh God, for you desire, oh God, a broken and contrite heart, oh God. You say you shall not despise. Tonight, oh God, we acknowledge, we acknowledge. God, that we are evil in your sight. We acknowledge, O oh Lord, my God, that there is none righteous among us. We acknowledge, O oh Lord, my God, that we need your mercies, O oh God. Tonight, Abba Father, by the reason of the blood, we run to you, O oh God. We run to you, my God. We run to you, O oh God. Where else shall we run to, O oh God? Where else shall we run to you, O oh God? And no wonder David said, Better I fall into your hands than fall in the hands of my enemies. Tonight, Tonight, oh God, let's fall in your hands, oh God. Tonight, let's fall in your hands. For Lord, you are merciful, oh God, and gracious, oh Lord, my God. Father, tonight we come. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon our generations. Have mercy upon our bloodlines. In the mighty name of Jesus, I may the blood speak on our behalf. I may the blood speak mercy. The Bible says He does not speak judgment, but it speaks mercy unto Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things better than the blood of Abel tonight oh God we come by the reason of the blood we come by the reason of the blood anti Colossians says Colossians 2 14 says the blotting out every handwriting of ordinance which is against us and he has nearly turned the cross tonight oh Lord my God having spoiled principalities powers and dominions oh God and you made a public show of 
them tonight, Abba Father, by the vision of the blood, by the vision of the blood, Father Lord, we present every evidence of the enemy tonight by the vision of the blood. We ask, oh God, may it be a rest, oh God, may it be a rest, oh God. The Bible says, oh God, that your sins today have been blotted out. The Bible says, oh God, in Isaiah chapter 6. In Isaiah chapter 6, O oh God, in verse 7, O oh God, your word tells me, O oh God, and when the angel got a call of fire, he placed it upon Isaiah's lips, and he said, your sin has been purged, and your iniquity has been blotted away. Tonight, O oh Lord my God, Father, we ask of you, oh, by the reason of the blood, blot out our transgressions, blot out our sins, blot out our iniquity, every evidence the enemy has against us. Tonight, O oh Lord my God, may it be blotted out, by the reason of the blood, I blot it out, oh God, I blot out every evidence, I blot out every evidence, every evidence of sin, every evidence, oh God, from our lineages, every evidence, oh God, from our bloodlines, oh God, that the enemy has against us, for the Bible calls him the accuser of brethren, and he comes with evidence, tonight, oh God, by the reason of the blood, the Bible says, oh God, and the Lord justified us, when he paid, oh God, the requirement Amens, oh God, of divine justice. Tonight, oh Lord my God, we come by the blood. We come by the blood to blot out, oh God, every evidence, every evidence of sin, every evidence, oh God, yes, oh God, of witchcraft, every evidence, oh God, of idolatry, oh God, every evidence, oh God, yes, of abortions, every evidence, oh God, of murder, oh God, every evidence, oh Payatakaba, Rebele Tosika, Rikambalate, Zikapala. Lord, tonight, oh God, we invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood of the lamp. The Bible says, and now behold the lamp who was slain to take away the sins of the world. Tonight, oh God, we send the blood to take away your God. Every evidence, oh God, every claim of the enemy. Tonight, oh God, we invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, Satan, the the blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, oh, the blood is against you tonight. Against every evidence, against every handwriting of ordinance which is against us. Tonight, oh God, the Bible says that Jesus blotted out in the mighty name of Jesus oh tonight we blot out oh God, I blot out every handwriting of ordinance, I blot out every handwriting of failure, every handwriting of sin, every handwriting, every evil record that are speaking against us tonight by the reason of the blood for the Lord we silence we silence that voice of the accuser we silence every evidence we silence so kaba repele tosika, rakambalatwa zipala koteba, riba Alande kosiprade, rika tala babosa, zande monte belika, ripa la tosaka, reke peli bona, rika tazonde ma. Lord, every voice of God, Lord, every handwriting, every handwriting of God, who's speaking against our rising, every handwriting of God, who's speaking against our prosperity, every handwriting of God, who's speaking against our lifting, every handwriting of God, who's speaking against our breakthrough. Tonight, oh my God, tonight by the reason of the blood, oh we silence it. We silence it, oh God. Every evidence, oh God, who's speaking against our matrimony our holy matrimony, oh God, every handwriting, oh God, every evidence, of our Father, speaking against marriages, speaking against oh God, yes, our progress, speaking against oh God, our breakthroughs financially, and ministerially, oh God, maritally tonight, oh Pele Kayata, Zipaland Wako Barata, Ele Comente Libaila, Rikata Bosilaya, Rikambalatwa, Zikapapuraila, Rekembede Kosilada, Rikata Lababa, Masheveli Kota. Ribalandwe, Zikatabosa, Rikambalate, Ikapaboraila, Rikande Montebaika, Rikapalato Saka, Zakatata, Lord with silence. I silence every voice. 
Silence every handwriting against your destiny. Silence every handwriting against your marital destiny. Silence every handwriting against your ministerial destiny. Silence every handwriting. Every voice that is speaking against you. Every voice that is speaking against you. Uh, tonight, send the blood of Jesus. Send the blood of Jesus tonight. Send the blood of Jesus tonight. Send the blood of Jesus as evidence of your justification tonight. Send the blood of Jesus as evidence of your justification tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, we are in the courtroom of heaven. As the enemy is presenting evidence, you also present evidence of the blood. You also present the evidence of the blood. Ah, tonight, the blood of Jesus. Oh, tonight, the blood of Jesus is against every allegation. Is against every accusation of the enemy. Is against every strange voice speaking against our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus oh Satan the blood is against you Satan the blood is against you oh the blood of Jesus is against you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus and we are settling this matter once and for all in the mighty name of Jesus for the Bible says of whom he foreknew he predestined and for those that he predestined he called to be conformed to the image of his dear son and for those that he called her. Uh, the Bible says uh, he justified her. Uh, and those that he justified her, uh, he also glorified her. Uh, and to now Marakaba, Zepele Kotiba, Ribanando Sekeba, Rikatata, Zopelinaya, Rikambalato, Zokote Palade, Rikembele no Silada, Rikatata, Zapalata, Zokombelinata, Ripalakosa, Rikambalete, O Sibelikaya. Lord, tonight, O oh God, uh, our claim, O oh God, uh, our justification rights. We claim, oh God, our justification rights. Our justification rights. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, by the reason of the blood. Uh, by the reason of the blood. Uh, we silence every covenant. Uh, we dissolve, oh Lord my God, uh, every covenant of the enemy. Every covenant with demons. Uh, we dissolve, oh Lord my God. Uh, every covenant with bondage. Uh, we dissolve, oh Lord my God. Uh, every covenant so God with curses. Uh, we dissolve Fall on my God. Every covenant with evil foundations. We dissolve tonight, O oh God. By the reason of the blood. We dissolve, O oh Lord. Every covenant with death. Every covenant so high. With premature death. We dissolve tonight, O oh God. Every covenant so God. With marital delay. We dissolve, O oh God. Every covenant so God. With the ayaka. Repele kosita. We dissolve, my God. Every covenant so Father. Lord, with death, O oh God. Every covenant with poverty, every convenience of God, Lord, with frustrations of God, we dissolve for God tonight by the reason of the blood. Oh, by the reason of the blood, we dissolve every covenant. We cut off for Lord my God, every covenant of God, a blood covenant, a clan covenant of God. We dissolve them tonight by the reason of the blood. We reject to God every sacrifices. Oh, me kapayatos ha. Rikembele no silata. Rikapayatos zembeli koriba ilha. Rikata zata bora ilha. Rande monte beli kofata. Rikepele to sopa ilha. Lord, every covenant with sicknesses. Every covenant with infirmities. Tonight, oh God, we dissolve. Oh, tonight, Abba Father, we dissolve. We dissolve, Akaya. Repele to saka. Every covenant, oh God, with hell. Every covenant with demons. Every covenant with strange gods. Uh, tonight, oh God, we dissolve them uh, uh, by the reason of the blood of Jesus. Uh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we dissolve, oh God. Lord, we dissolve, Abba Father. We break every ties, oh God. We break, oh God, sexual covenants. Lord, we break them tonight, oh God. By the reason of the blood. Father, we dissolve them, oh God. By the reason of the blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. We dissolve, oh Lord. Any connections, any contacts, oh God. With devils, oh God. God, any covenant so God with ancestral gods, any covenant so God with clan altars, oh God, tonight by the reason of the blood, Father, we silence them, Father Lord, we dissolve them in the mighty.
mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we stand, oh God, to authorize you, my God, in our case, oh God. Arise, oh God. Arise and plead our case. We authorize you, oh God, in our situation. Lord, we authorize you, Lord, in our situation. You have said, oh God, you have said in your word, in Matthew 16 and 18, and whatever we shall find on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. And whatever we shall lose on earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. Tonight, oh Lord, my God, we bind ourselves, oh God, and to our redemptive rights, we bind ourselves, oh God, and to the kingdom of God, we bind ourselves, oh God, yes, oh God, and to the kingdom of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we authorize you, oh God, into our situation, we authorize you, oh God, into our ministerial destiny, we authorize you, oh God, into our marital destiny, we authorize you, oh God, into our financial destiny, we authorize you, oh God, come and plead, oh God, plead our cause, oh God, arise, oh God, on our behalf, arise, oh God, for our sake, I do not keep silent, oh God, I do not keep silent, Father, for Zion's sake, oh God, I do not keep silent, oh, for Isaac's sake, oh God, I do not keep silent, oh God, tonight, oh God, arise, oh God, unto your resting place. Arise, O God, unto your resting place, O God. Arise, O God, on your throne, O God. And Father, justify me, O God. Justify your ministries, O God. Justify, O God, the pastors. Justify, O God, the ministers. Justify us, O God, tonight. Justify us tonight, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. O Sipeli Kaya, Rakambalatwa, Zakato Sopeli, Rikanda Monteli Baiko, Riposi Kalabayanda, Ribakata Satalababa, Imarebeke Silebosa, Rikambalatwa, Zakato Soperika, Rikande Monteli Babura, Ile Palatwa, Zakatalababa, Rebeli Kotema, Zakata Taboria, Ile Kembele Notoha, Zikombeli Kayata, Rikatalababa, Rabalato Saka, Lord, we authorize you, we authorize you tonight, we authorize you, O God, come and judge, O God, the delay in our lives, come and judge, O God, the delay, O God, the hardship, O God, the struggles of God in our lives, Abba Father, come and judge your God for the marital delay. Come and judge your God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, we authorize you, O God. We authorize you, righteous one, O God, the one that judges, O God. The Bible says, O God, your name is faithful and true, O God, and you judge, O God, in righteousness and justice, O Lord, my God. Father, arise, O God, and judge us, O God. Arise, O God, and avenge us, O God, of our adversaries, O God. Arise, O Lord, my God, tonight, and avenge us, O God, of our adversaries, O God. Arise tonight, O God, and judge our cause, O God, and plead our cause tonight. Arise, O Lord, my God, and plead our cause, Father. Arise, O God, and plead our cause tonight, O my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O God, for my sake, O God, you say you shall not keep silent. For my sake, O God, you say you shall not keep silent until I become a praiser. Until I become a praiser. Oh, tonight, don't keep silent. Oh, don't keep silent tonight. In the mighty in the name of Jesus. Lebeko sile bayata, rande monteli bako saya, rika palatwa zande montebele koreba, rika tozo pelika ya, rika nda mante bosukopa, rabalatwa zakata bori vaila, rende kosi prekele ba, rika tata bosa falande, imando rebo zilata, zeko peli natosa, rika mbalatwa, zako menteli bori ha, rika mbeli tosi kaya, imakora talfemiante, zipeli kumbeli na yata, rika mbalatosa. Ima seveli kopaila ile mbele koto robo sika zakatata repele kondama ile pele koso pradeka salamande liboreka ile pele konde maila tosa zafande liboreka rikata baya tosa zekomente libaba ribala katwa zakata barona ile pele kumbeli nata rakata boravaila zakante mone baila rikata ta zambale kota ile pele tosaka ima sivalande rekembeli no 
Rabalata, Rabalata, Zakandemo Rebalata, Ikambaneto Sikaya, in the mighty name of Jesus, arise, O God, for my sake, O God, arise, O God, and plead my cause, arise, O God, and silence the accuser, arise, O God, and make a public show of him, arise, O God, tonight, Abba Father, arise, O my God, arise, O God, for my sake, I do not keep silent, for my sake, O God, I do not keep silent, for my sake, O God, I do not keep silent, O Sibeli I do not keep silent, Lord, I do not keep silent, arise, O my God, unto your resting place, and vindicate me, arise, O God, and avenge me, O God, of my adversary, arise, O God, and avenge me, O God, of the adversary in my household, of the adversary in my father's house, or avenge me, O God, of the adversary in my mother's house, arise, O my God, Epeli Koyata, Rambalatwa, Zakato Sibeli Kaila, Rikambaleto Sada, Rekombeli Nato Sadaka, Ikepeli no Sukaba, Rakata Tabona, Ilebeli Kosande, Imensivalatwa, Zikambalato Sada. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, in the name of Jesus, Father, avenge me of my adversaries, avenge me of the adversary, avenge me, O God, arise, O God, and plead my cause, arise and plead my cause tonight, arise and keep plead my cause, O God, arise and plead my cause, O God, oh, Sibeli Kata, the Bible says, O God, that you judge, O God, and then make war, O God, tonight, oh my God, and sort out my case, O God. I deal with my case, O God, against my accuser. I deal with my case, O God, against my adversary. I deal with my case, O God, against my adversary tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I deal with my case against my adversaries tonight. In the name of Jesus, oh, deal with my case, O God. Deal with my case, O God. Deal with my case, O God. Let the books be opened and the DNA may be judged. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord, my God. Arise and sort out my kiss. Oh, arise and sort out my kiss, O oh God. Arise, O oh God, and avenge me, O oh God, tonight. Arise and avenge me tonight, O oh God. Arise, O oh Lord, my God, and sort out this matter once and for all, O oh God. Sort out this matter. You have said, O oh Lord, my God, whatever we are dealing with, Father Lord, it is being dealt with once and for all, O oh God. Tonight, O oh Lord, my God, I break, O oh Lord, my God, visit my foundation. Visit, O oh God, my bloodlines by the blood of Jesus. And Father, avenge me, O oh God. Avenge me, O oh God. I deal with whatever needs to be dealt with. I break whatever needs to be broken. Father, scatter whatever needs to be scattered. A brutal oh Lord, my God. Whatever needs to be uprooted. Until I be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Until I be glorified. Until I show forth your glory. Until I show forth your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. For Lord, it doesn't give you glory when I remain small. It doesn't give you glory, your God. When I remain like this, for that do something. Arise on my case. Arise for my sake. I do not keep silent for my sake, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Father, we give you praise. I begin to thank Him. I begin to thank Him for justification. I begin to thank Him for justification. I begin to thank him for glorification. I begin to thank him for what he has done and what he's going to do. I begin to thank him for what he has done. I thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his mercies. Thank him for his loving kindness. Thank him for his mercies over your family, over your life. Oh, thank him tonight. Thank him tonight. Oh, thank him tonight as we're winding up. Oh, thank him tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for victory. We thank you for victory, O God. For the Bible says, O God, it is because of the blood that, O God, the prisoners are set free from every bottomless bottomless pit. Tonight we thank you, O God, for the blood, O God, for we are being set free, O God, from every pit of failure, from every pit of struggles, from every pit, O God, of hardship, from every pit of delay, from every pit of frustration, by the reason of the blood, or by the blood of the covenant, we are breaking out. By the blood of the covenant, we are breaking out and breaking forth in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, 
thank him tonight. I bless his holy name. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant and the blood of sprinkling. The Bible says it speaks better things, better than the blood of Abel. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Who would have redeemed us, so God? Who would have redeemed us, so God? If it wasn't by the blood. Father, we thank you, our God. We bless your holy name, our God. We give you all the praise, your God. We give you all the glory, Abba Father. We give you all the honor, O God. A great and mighty God. A wonderful counselor. A faithful Father. And to you alone be the praise. And to you be all the glory. And to you be all the honor, O God. In the name of the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I bless his holy name. I give him a round of applause. And tonight in the name of Jesus. I bless his holy name. I bless him tonight. He that is faithful faithful and just. He that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond that which we can never ask for or even imagine according to the power that works in us. Be all the glory and the honor. Be all the adoration of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy name. 